I'm Emma Carmen, joined alongside with beat reporter Josh Silverman. Josh, so the Quinnipiac Bobcats defeated the Monmouth Hawks with a final score of 67 to 38 here at Lender Court this afternoon. The Monmouth Hawks had 23 turnovers. How did the Bobcats capitalize on those? Well, first of all, 10 of the turnovers were unforced. Quinnipiac only had 13 steals, but Quinnipiac does a great job of forcing teams into bad situations, coming over, having great help defense, and honestly, like their players are just better than the players that they're being matched up against from their other team. They're longer, more physical, more athletic, so Quinnipiac forces them into bad situations, scores off the turnovers. That's why they win so many games. So the Bobcats had two milestones today, one of them with Paula Stratmanet with a thousand career points. What do you think it means for her and the team? I think, well, first of all, for her, it must mean so much. You know, I, obviously, I don't know what it's like to be in her shoes, but to score a thousand points to reach that milestone is something that is, is so celebrated, and, and she really deserves that. And she's played so well over her four years here, and just for the team as a whole. Now, three active players have a thousand points. They've all achieved that milestone. So I think it just shows Quinnipiac does such a good job sharing the ball and just playing together and winning together as a team. And now Quinnipiac is tied with Maris with 35 conference wins in a row. What are they going to do for their upcoming game against Niagara to try to get that 36th win? Well, Courtney Pig does a great job. Trisha Fabry has talked about it for the four years I've covered her, that they take every game, one game at a time. So the 36th win, I'm sure, if they're able to achieve that, will be celebrated. It's something that the players look forward to, but I'm sure it's not in their head. They just want to go out and win the next game. And again, Quinnipiac defeated Monmouth with a final score of 67 to 38. Be sure to follow all of our content at tonight's game against Harvard for men's ice hockey and tomorrow's game at 2 p.m. for the men's basketball team. For Josh Silverman, I'm Emma Carmen. Have a good night.